Hey, welcome back to the Snyder Family Homestead. Today we're gonna to talk about the perfect chicken brooder, which works best for us. So you go to TSC store, Lowe's, Walmart, wherever you get these totes, it's a, it's a large tote, it's like three foot long and by like two feet. So then we go to the TSC store, and they have this kit which offers the heat lamp plus bulb. So just, then what you do, you set this here, like this for right now, and then you get the heat lamp and bulb, you get the water, and you get two feeders. You get this feeder here, and then you get this feeder here. For, I believe it's $39.95, I'm not exactly for sure. Um, so what you're gonna wanna do is pick up a bag of shavings as well. I recommend pine shavings, because when they start scratching, because when the chicks, baby chicks start scratching, what they'll do is they'll scratch and fill their feeder and their water with the pine shavings. So you're gonna what you're gonna want to do. Here, I'm... Sorry, I'm working on a few kinks here. So what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna put, I usually put about an inch or so. A couple really big handfuls in there. And then just kind of spread it around. You want you want to try to get full coverage. And just spread it around, break break up the big chunks. You don't want it super deep, but you don't want you don't want really any spots like that. So like that is about how you want it. A little spot right here is fine. They're gonna scratch and peck and change how they want it. Alright, so go ahead and place your heat lamp at this end and then shine shine it down in. So the chicks, if they're colder, they can come right here. And then as they warm up, they move away. It's important to have a cooler spot and then a, a, a warm spot and then a hot spot. The hot spot is obviously underneath the light, warmer spots a little bit further away, and obviously the cold spots maybe back there in the corners where it's furthest away. What I recommend is that you monitor that and watch it. If they're all balled up, if all the baby chicks are all balled right here underneath, the heat lamp, they're really cold. And you gotta watch it, you might have to add an other extra heat lamp, which I highly doubt that you will, because I usually run 10 baby chicks in this at all times, and they're good up until five weeks when they start stinking. Um, change the bedding every day, or until it starts to look really bad. But anyways, what I wanna talk about next is the waters. This water is fine. Most likely they're not going to drown in this, but they will kick their shavings in it and scratch in it. So I always try to put it back here in the back corner, right there. This is a top shot. There you go. And then I don't really like this, this feeder here much because they do put the little ridges on top, but it doesn't stop them from getting up there and roosting on it. And then they, they manure in these holes. I don't recommend this for feeding fresh baby chicks because they will get stuck in this. But if you're doing uh, morning feedings, this is an okay feeder when they get a little bit older. Just you, uh, There's no reason for them to have food at nighttime, so you can just go ahead and put this in there. And when you get home at, from work, maybe like five o'clock or whenever you get home, just take the feeder out. They don't have to have feed in front of them at all times. These are for laying hens. Um, Brooder chick or broiler chicks are a little bit different. You want to make sure that they have food in front of them all the time so that you get the maximum growing. I personally prefer this feeder here. And they do a pretty good job on it. They do they do kick and scratch the um the wood chips into the uh, feed space, but that's that's what chickens do is they scratch all the time. So the best thing to do is just constantly clean it out. So I just set that somewhere here by the, the, the heat source. 
So what happens if you put the water too close to the heat lamp, the water gets warm and then they won't drink it and then you'll have baby chicks. Um, that will happen, trust me. So when you, uh, I always plug it in, make sure it works. And then that's pretty much my setup. This will hold 10 baby chicks very comfortably. <clears throat> Um, of course you want to check the food and the water in the morning and at night and keep it clean because the cleaner you keep the food and the water, the healthier chicks you're going to have, the cleaner the bedding you have, the cleaner the bedding you have, the, the healthier chicks you're going to have. It's just with natural hygiene. I mean, you want clean sanitary living conditions you're healthier that way the chickens want clean sanitary healthy living conditions because that's what keeps them healthy as well like i said 10 baby chicks this will keep them to five weeks at about five weeks you're going to want to put a cover on this and at that time you can probably take away the heat lamp depending on what time of year this is and where this setup is at if it's in a garage they still may need a heat lamp in a utility room or laundry room they probably won't need a heat source but you're gonna to wanna to cover on this. I recommend the, the half inch uh, hard wire cloth or just regular chicken wire is fine, fencing. And then what I typically do is because they, they do wanna fly out, um, is, that's why I put that on there. But also what I do is I put a, a thin board across the top and then I take a wire and I, uh, I measure the height of the chick, I set, I set this down in front of them, so the chicken's head, this this piece here is about uh, breast height with the chicken, so the chicken can, and can peck and get feed, and I do the same thing with the waterer, breast height. So the feet are underneath, and when they scratch and kick, the shavings and the uh, bird seed, chicken feed, doesn't get full of the the scratch, the manure that's on the wood chips and the wood chips don't get in there as well. So once again, this is my setup. Thanks for tuning in to Snyder Family Homestead. Don't forget to like and subscribe.